Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome finally to a video that you guys have been waiting for a while. Um, I know there's a few of you that have asked me multiple times uh, in the comments and in my Instagram to do a Nabla brand overview. Now, I have a long history with Nabla. I think I started purchasing from them from, hmm, I want to say 2014, maybe 15 and um, I have purchased from them ever since. I have a big collection of their products and actually while I was making a list of the products that they have and what I do and what I don't, there are only a few categories that I don't have uh, uh, products of. So I think I can give you a little bit of an overview and uh, yeah, talk you through all the products, my thoughts on them, what I recommend, uh, what I don't and yeah, just overall a Nabla brand overview. I also filmed while I did my makeup, so I will show you show it. Mm. I also filmed while I was doing my makeup, so I will also be showing you during my review the application as well as at the end. Um, I am going to do a wear test for this makeup. I have uh, all Nabla products on and at the end of the day you can see how they perform and uh, how they held up during the day. Now I'm gonna separate these by category so we're gonna do face, we're gonna do eyes and then we're gonna do lips and go through a little bit of uh, let's say the steps as I uh, do my makeup. Let's start with one of their latest releases which is the foundation. This was a very big surprise for a lot of us who follow Nabla for a long time but it was kind of logical next step after they had released their concealer. Um, their foundation is called the Close-Up Futuristic Foundation Weightless Soft Focus Perfect Complexion. This is a satin finish soft matte foundation with a medium buildable coverage. You can see while I apply it that it gives me a good um, a good medium coverage. It covers the worst of uh, my, uh, let's say, not discoloration, but the difference in uh, skin tone around my face. But it needs in a few spots a little bit more, and you can see that it is actually quite easily buildable. Together with their foundation, they also came out with the foundation brush, which is called the foundation buffer brush. This is what it looks like. It is a small round buffer um, and it is slightly domed and it is completely synthetic, very soft and um, yeah, quite a nice size to apply foundation to the face. Um, I have been able to use this with a concealer as well, so to apply it under my, uh, under my eyes and around my nose. So this is a nice size. The quality of these brushes is amazing. The ferrule is brushed and uh, I just really really like the brushes that I have from Nabla. This one isn't the best foundation brush that I have found due to the fact that sometimes it can be a little bit streaky. Um, one of the most important things I find of this is to wash it between every use or every two uses whereas some brushes I can go a little bit longer like a week without washing it in between. Anyways, it applies the foundation well and uh, this foundation doesn't have the longest lasting power on me. I have combination oily skin and it tends to break down in the middle of my face after I want to say four to six hours. It's not terrible at all but it's not a long wearing foundation on me. It has a beautiful finish to it. It's very very skin like and um, when it does break down and my oils come through it doesn't settle too much into the pores and it doesn't move. That is also important. Sometimes foundation tend to bunch and completely leave the area whereas this will still give you a basic coverage but uh, if you're oily you're gonna see your oils coming through quite a bit. When you look at it close up in uh, the screen or in front of a mirror you can see it a little bit and I think it is because I don't use a primer so it will sit a little bit into my pores. It is not 
my favorite foundation out there but it is also a good product i will wear it for um, days in which i know that i only have to be out for example half of the day and not the whole day and um, i like I, I want a nice natural looking foundation this is the foundation concealer um, nabla has come out now a year ago i think with the close-up stay full smooth con concealer and this is how it looks like they have a very similar packaging let's say to Tarte shape tape there was quite a little bit of controversy about that but i think it's just a pretty packaging um, the packaging on nabla as i said is absolutely spotless it is really really good and um, this is my second tube of the concealer i have used up a full one you might have seen my review of the concealer from when it came out and um, since then it has been in my project pan and i finished that one this is a second tube it's a darker shade so actually uh, this is the shade golden beige i usually use cream beige and it is slightly dark for the uh, foundation which I'm using which is L50. The foundation is quite a good match for me I feel um, however you have to keep in mind that after application it tends to oxidize a little so um, when you apply it it looks quite light and then you let it you set it with a powder or you let it dry and then it will settle a little bit darker so it is uh, the concealer is a little bit dark for this foundation but um, I find that it works well around my face and it, it doesn't brighten of course because it's a darker shade the concealer is high coverage for me um, i find that it is quite high coverage i usually use a maybelline fit me concealer for example which is a more medium it's more fluid this is quite a thick concealer and uh, it has a very big wand the smell of this is like coconut beach i love it i love the smell of it um, but you, here you can see the wand and the fact that the product is quite um, nice and prominent on this um, wand i literally apply a few dots where i need it and buff it in because it is a little goes a long way and it's quite full coverage i have heard reviews of people who think it is not full coverage enough and i cannot talk for that because I talk only for as much coverage as I need so for me it covers everything it needs to I also use it in spots and other uh, not only under my eyes I don't love it under my eyes I think it's a bit too heavy for me I like a bit of a lighter more fluid um, concealer so like Maybelline Fit Me NARS creamy concealer um, so Overall, this is a good product, not my favorite concealer ever, but I like using it, I use it, and I finished it, so uh, it's definitely doable, but I do prefer a little bit lighter concealers. Now, with it being a little bit heavier, it also means it creases a little bit faster on me compared to other uh, concealers, but I anyways tend to set everything immediately. Uh, Nabla, when it comes to powders, has two different powders um, one is the first one that came out was a close-up baking and setting powder this beautiful um, packaging it's gorgeous and there's 30 grams of product in here so it's a huge amount of, of a powder and in their latest release together with the foundation they released the close-up smoothing pressed powder and this is um, one of the most gorgeous pressed powder compacts that I own this is so beautiful and it contains a mirror and it comes in three shades light medium and dark um, this one contains 11.3 grams which is also a big amount of powder now to show you the difference of these two I have applied on this side the loose powder and on this side the pressed powder so that you can see um, a little bit the difference now I have to take a mirror to look at it again but um, I personally cannot see a very big difference upon application they both blurred the skin and gave a soft focus effect very well they mattified the skin both of them very well um, I don't want to predict the future but usually when I use uh, the pressed powder I get a little bit oily sooner 
um, whereas the uh, baking powder, the loose powder, actually keeps me matte for longer. I don't like to apply too much of the baking powder because it does end up making my uh, skin look a little bit crepey under my eyes especially so I don't I in general don't bake to start with that but I don't bake with it I just apply it with their uh, powder brush this is also one of the newer one it's the big powder brush it is a beautiful synthetic um, powder brush and it's quite thick but very very soft and you can apply the powder very well it fits around the contours of the face very well um, so I apply it with this or with an even fluffier powder brush because I want to apply as little of the um, loose powder as possible because I find that otherwise it looks a little bit heavy the pressed powder instead I have not had that problem and I think it is overall a little bit less mattifying um, and the fact that it comes in three shades you need to think a little because I have had the light be a little too light uh, on me when I'm tan so that is the only thing that I'm that is a little bit to keep in mind is what shade you choose I am in the foundation L50 as I mentioned and this is on the edge of going to medium the shades go from L10, 20, 30, 40, 50, M and then T I think for the dark ones, the tan ones um, so I am on the edge between the two so the light powder sometimes translates a little bit too light on me here we go, we are at the 6 hour check-in I put a sweater on and changed my outfit because I'm ready to go on the couch and watch some Netflix but I wanted to check in on you guys to take a look at how the base was uh, doing and how just the makeup in general was doing to remind you on this side I have the loose powder on this side I have the pressed and now this is a uh, natural light that you see um, this is just six o'clock 6 30 actually now in the evening here in the Netherlands of a quite overcast day but um, I think overall both sides are the same but you can see that it is now starting to break down and I'll zoom you in to see closer here we are I hope you can see what I see and uh, that it's starting to break down here and um, around the nose a little bit less on top of my nose more um, yeah you can see that there is very little foundation here and on my forehead it looks a little bit more cakey um, when it comes to my under eyes I think now they're both the same at the beginning this side started to crease a little bit sooner as I said the um, concealer is a little bit thick for my um, liking and if I use it together with the um, loose powder it really uh, makes my under eyes look quite heavy the eyeshadow has not creased yet so uh, that's good for the cream eyeshadow I guess and uh, yeah this was the six hour mark we're very close to each other I'll see you in uh, a few more hours before I go to bed hey guys this is the 10 hour mark check-in and with this I'll close it because I was laughing so hard uh, I was crying my makeup off <laughs> but I wanted to come in and check in anyways um, it's not doing great let's put it that way the lipstick is doing amazing I had ribs for dinner so I actually had to transfer of the lipstick on my chin but that's always but look at how well it is keeping up these lipsticks are fantastic the foundation as I mentioned now you can see it better it hasn't moved but um, I'm very shiny and it has settles into my pores quite a bit it's not very pretty to see you can see it has collected here I wear glasses so I have the sign of my glasses right here and um, yeah just on my chin it's really separating a lot it was already in the previous check-in but now even more my husband told me actually that he didn't like the effect on the skin it looks really fake and um, yeah I was a bit surprised you can see actually on the two sides that there isn't a lot of difference in um, oiliness uh, with this lighting it looks like uh, I am all glowing and stuff the highlighter is amazing isn't it but overall this is then 10 hours of wear as I said it's not bad 
but it's also not fantastic and um, I do feel the makeup on and I do think that it doesn't look that great. My husband also said he didn't like the foundation. Yeah, that is a good sign for me. Um, luckily, I have a mini that I was gifted, so um, no damage done for me. But I would definitely say try one of these small sizes. They do sell on their website. They sell it together with the brush that I, the foundation brush that I showed you. And uh, the brush in itself is nice. So if you want to try it, um, this is a beanie size. It contains 9.5 mils. That will actually get you through quite a bit. I've used it now quite a few times. So yeah, this is not my favorite. But um, with this, I will close up. That was it for the complexion products. Um, Price-wise, for these products, I find that Nabla puts themselves quite at a middle to, I wouldn't say high-end, but at a mid-end uh, price range. I often compare them to Jouer Cosmetics, for example. They are an independent brand. They have a good quality, detail in the packaging, detail in everything actually that they do. There's quite some thought in the formulas. Um, they are quite elegant formulas. They're not drugstore at all. Uh, they're all made in Italy, vegan and cruelty free. Um, so I think that is important and it actually justifies the price point. There has been a little bit of a controversy because um, the feeling in the community after uh, Nabla had started quite at a lower price point with smaller products was that the price were increasing, increasing, increasing every time, but also they were always releasing new products that were more intensive to make or to research with the more packaging. So I think the price point is justified. The quality of the products is um, is good and you can count on a uh, on average good quality products. There are no products in Nabla that you say oh this is horrible don't use it at so whatsoever. There's things that might work for me um, and will not work for you and things that will work for you and not for me. And I know a lot of people have been loving the foundation as if it's their holy grails whereas for me it's a good foundation but it's not my holy grail. So I think that is important to uh, touch upon. Then let's move on to the rest of the face powders and some fun colorful stuff. Um, one of the first face products that Nabla came out with were their Shade and Glow and their Blossom Blushes. I have some of them here. I have most of them here, let's put it that way. Um, I purchased all of these myself. I purchased all of the Blossom Blushes when they released, I think the first six and then picked up a few of the limited edition collections or of the uh, collections that were released later. Um, up here you can see the highlighters. These are very um, natural and subtle highlighters. They are beautiful. Baby Glow, which is this one here, was my favorite for a long time together with um, Obsexed and this, this is Jasmine. And you can see on my fingers, they do not reflect a metallic sheen. Initially, these were more um, natural looking. Yeah, for the everyday person, I don't, I don't even know that you can see them here. Um, for the everyday person that wants a nice, very elegant looking highlighter, not that you can see from space. And I think that at the beginning was disappointing from some people because at the same time Becca was releasing uh, their pressed highlighters that are like uh, super metallic and that difference was maybe a little bit disappointing for a few. I've liked these highlighters, I haven't used them very much lately because indeed um, I like a little bit of a more uh, intense highlighter. Luckily Nabla has um, limited edition collections as well as they release collections every year that are not limited edition but among the limited edition they have released last year in summer for their first The Nude collection a beautiful set of highlighters that is fantastic. 
I am so sad they're not permanent. I am hoping they will bring back this formula in a permanent lineup, maybe even in pans or in palettes uh, or in these singles as well. This one here is the pressed highlighter in Savage or Savage, I don't know, depending on how you uh, pronounce it. And it is what I am wearing on my cheeks today. It is a beautiful, warm gold, exactly the type of shade that I love to wear. And you can see here in the swatches the difference between the shininess of that one and the three in the old formula. So you can really, really see the difference. Um, if you can still find these, grab them they're fantastic and uh, i think it's definitely worth the price point for this i remember this was quite a shock for me to purchase at 16 euro 50 i think but uh, the product contains 10 grams of powder 10 grams is infinite and um, the quality is fantastic it's one of my favorite highlighters ever um, there were more highlighters released also in the in the holiday collection and um, those have there was one more gold and one more duochrome that was a beautiful embossing and again detail for the packaging was really really great going back to these guys i'm sorry i'm jumping from one place to the other um worth mentioning and one of my favorite formulas are the bronzers and contours so uh, nabla has at least two contour powders in a lighter and a darker shade i have the shade cameo which is the darker contour and then there's the shade gotham which is the lighter contour these have a beautiful neutral cool undertone that make it really really great for um, contouring and the pigmentation is not extreme i find myself with other brands that are have powders face powders that are too pigmented it's very difficult to give a good shadow and a good blend out of um out of a product whereas uh, i find that these nabla contour products are fantastic Today I am wearing the bronzer. This one here is in the shade Monoi and it is the second of their bronzers. They also have the shade Saint-Tropez, which if you follow me for a while, you know, unfortunately mine broke uh, when traveling. So I was really sad. So I picked up the shade Monoi, which has a little bit of a sheen and I think it is very beautiful. It is not extremely uh, visible on my skin tone right now because it is a little bit lighter but you can it still gives the warmth with a very diffused effect so you really cannot go wrong with these powders this is definitely incredibly good for people who like a very natural glam a very elegant makeup nothing too much no extreme i don't exactly know where my camera cut off but i was saying i love these blushes because they give you a very natural looking finish they are slightly sheeny but it's not a a shimmer it's more of a satin and overall i think all of these powders blend so beautifully and effortlessly that are they are definitely fantastic i hear from the grapevine that they're gonna discontinue them uh, so I would put my hands on them if uh, I were you. I think you can probably skip the highlighters because um, they're a bit of an outdated formula nowadays, but bronzers, contour and blushes, I really like. Definitely worth um, picking them up if you haven't already. And these I have in a palette, but they also come in a little compact. And this is what it looks like. This was uh, the compact of the shade and glow so of the um of the highlighters and bronzers and it is a magnetic compact so let me show you you can pop one of these in and you have it ready to go and then you can release it easily just like that love these love these definitely a recommendation of mine for the original launch and uh, successive launches of these products, I have blog posts with swatches and uh, reviews on my blog. And there are also many videos on Nabla products on my channel. So don't hesitate to go check those out because I, I know this video is gonna be very long already, but I would be, it would be even longer I've had to go through each and every one individually. 
one small gem that is in uh, Nabla's brush collection that unfortunately is sold out, it went sold out immediately, is this little highlighter brush. This one here was launched in the Denude collection last year as well as in the uh, Christmas collection from 2018 and uh, I was so happy when a friend of mine had one extra and gifted it to me because I missed it. Uh, at launch and this is a beautiful highlighter brush you saw me use it with my highlight short mention for the last face product that i have which are their cream uh, cheek products these were launched during the the nude collection from 2018 their summer collection and i have the shade um, desert rose this is a uh, cream blush it is very blendable um, the color isn't really perfect for me, I feel. It, uh, it looks a little bit too much like my own rosacea, so it doesn't look that fantastic. They have a little sheen, they are quite emollient to the touch, but they don't really move my foundation, they haven't been uh, sliding off my face during the day. Uh, they don't set. This is one of the products I have for the least time um, from them, so I don't have um, the biggest opinion on it, but as I said, it's okay. Um, I wouldn't cry if you couldn't get it uh, when uh, it released. Um, together with these, they also released some cream highlighters that I heard some people really, really love and keep using forever. So maybe something to look into. But for me, these can, you shouldn't be sad that you couldn't get them. Rather get the Blossom blushes when they are on sale because they're discontinuing them. I think that's a better idea. Moving on to eye products. Nabla has some amazing eyeshadows, which I'll get right into. But following the, um, let's say, the order in which I do my makeup, um, they do not have an eyeshadow primer. However, they do have cream eyeshadows. They have quite a few of them, and um, I have here three. Today, I apply the shade Bakery as an eye base for this look. I also have the shade Supreme, which is a gorgeous shimmery red very very beautiful i don't use it much because it's a red base <laughs> it's very very uh bright but i had to have it because it's so beautiful i heard this is also being discontinued so in case pick one up um, and then the other shade I have is caffeine we talked about it in my shop my stash last month and the month before this is a great base for dark smoky eyes these um, in my opinion still need a primer underneath on my oily lids they will crease even if you set them with an eyeshadow powder or a powder eyeshadow rather um, but um, yeah they're really great as base for looks so uh, especially for dark smoky eyes or stuff, stuff like that and for bright colors i like to use a base they also have some more light colors and shimmery colors that you can do as a wash of color all over your lid or for example as a base they have one that i think is called underpainting which was very similar to what is a paint pot in maybe soft ochre i had it for a while but that was one of the ones to dry out on me very very quickly um, you might remember from videos from i guess 2017 when i still had it at that point when it had dried out i was applying it with a wet sponge to revive it but then i just decluttered it because it was too much work with these guys i have no problem with them drying out yet they're themselves quite uh, old they're all I think over a year old and I have no problem I usually apply them with a synthetic uh, eye brush one example is this one here which is the real techniques uh, base shadow brush this is my favorite one for cream eyeshadows because you can apply it pack it on and blend it at the same time so I applied that as a base today um, these cream eyeshadows are nice um, they're not the best cream eyeshadows out there they're good the colors are very interesting so if you're in the market for something i would definitely check them out i don't think you have to go out and buy them now absolutely but it's definitely a good item from them and then we get into what is my heart my passion my love my babies the single eyeshadows 
the thing is single eyeshadows were the first thing I think Nabla released and also the first thing I ever bought from them and I have a ton of them you might have seen this guy here before on my channel this is my favorites from Nabla the shadows that I use the most uh, last year they released a full matte collection that I did a whole review on and you can find that on my channel there's swatches and everything on my blog of all of the eyeshadows I own so you can always find them back there but these are the eyeshadows that I love the most um, their new matte formula is fantastic so I would definitely recommend that if you're looking for um, um, what to buy those are definitely great great eyeshadows and there's some of the old matte formula as well among here that I I like there's a no, no problem with that the old formula wasn't really very pigmented so you had to build it up a, a lot but you can see a trend here Nabla started out as a more elegant effortless natural beauty type of products and is now going into more the Instagram the bold the glam um, with like this blue velvet here fantastic the black here is fantastic and there are multiple different finishes in their single eyeshadows other than the mattes they have one that I love which is their celestial finish which are these three eyeshadows right here and you can recognize them immediately by the difference in the sheen that they give these are glitter toppers um, I'm gonna swatch them for you because they are fantastic the first one they ever brought out was this one here in the middle which is called water dream it's also maybe the worst one of those but also the most beautiful one of them because it has a wet effect so um, you can see as I swatch them, they're just fantastic. Just fabulous, fabulous. In order, these are Alchemy, Water Dream and Dana. Beautiful. Um, Alchemy was part of one of their summer collections two years ago, I wanna say, when they still released single eyeshadows in their collections. I miss that so much. But um, I have a full video and swatch uh, post on those as well. Please go check them out if you're interested in seeing more. But um, yeah, overall, fantastic, fantastic single eyeshadows. Their shimmers, regular shimmers, aren't my favorite in the sense that um, they're not extremely metallic and I like a more foiled metallic finish. However, I have three of them here and these are my favorites. Um, this is Cleo. It's, it's just an, like a very warm tone gold. We have Citron, which I'm wearing today in my inner corner. Very unique, very unique shade. One of the first chartreuse greeny yellows that were on the market. Beautiful, also being discontinued, I think. Go take a look to the website and make sure to pick it up. I love this eyeshadow. And Extra Virgin, which was also one of my first green eyeshadows. I used um, these greens in one of my green uh, tutorials from the month of March when I did all green. So you can see them in action there, fantastic. And um, yeah, these I can definitely recommend for the colors. The, the, the formula is nice, but it's not extremely pigmented. Let's put it that way. Um, you will not have the foiled pigmentation that you see in other brands, let's say. There you go. But they are very elegant, they're very beautiful, and uh, they perform well. It depends on what your expectations are. Other than that, which is my life palette, I also own three more palettes from Nabla. These are the actual palettes Nabla uh, sells. These are 12 pan eyeshadow palettes, magnetic, and they also have six pan ones. You might have seen this one in a recent video of mine, and I, I just keep them for various things and one of my favorites which is this small one from the Goldust collection from Christmas 2016 I want to say beautiful and um, these eyeshadow palettes come for free if you buy six eyeshadows on Nabla's website whereas these come for free if you buy six blushes or 12 eyeshadows um, and with limited editions they come out with limited edition uh, versions. You can also buy them individually. This one was from the Feather Matte from last year. And here I hold the other eyeshadows from uh, Nabla that I have in my collection that are not 
my favorites, let's say, but I still keep because of uh, in case I need it or I like the color or uh, to do comparisons. These ones here are my neutrals ish. Um, I love the shade Rust up here. This is Grenadine, also beautiful uh, raspberry shade. Daphne number two is beautiful. And the rest is overall satiny, not so, I don't know. It's just not, they, they're beautiful, but they're not, I don't know, that shiny, that special. Um, they're very elegant and subdued and if that's your thing I think Nabla is the perfect brand for you for these uh, but not all of their yeah single eyeshadows have great uh, shimmery formulas where they have put new metallic and special formulas are their palettes however I don't own any of them the problem is I have so many single eyeshadows of theirs that I love and I am not gonna buy a palette that doesn't capture me with a color story. So all of their palettes are quite neutral with a pop of color and that is just not something that is inspiring to me. So since I pay for all of the makeup that I buy, uh, um, and that I have from Nabla, um, I never purchased one of their palettes. But there they have new finishes like the Fluid Metal, which is a very, very metallic finish. Um, going back to the singles, these are my neutrals. Um, these are my blues and purples, which I definitely can recommend. These ones here, also from the summer collection two years ago, are fantastic. Virgin Island. And what's the name? Yeah, this one's Virgin Island. It's, it is um, a beautiful celestial again. And the other one is New Haven, this matte turquoise. Maybe I should use the other hand before I get... Um, that was a mistake, Alice. Let's see if I can still swatch it. I double dipped, but you can still see it yet. Yeah, beautiful. These are fantastic. Definitely recommendation. I love these shades. Sh same goes for Eternity, this shimmery blue. Also really, really beautiful. Great formula and a very bright blue. I love it. Um, a few tips and tricks with these. Um, yeah, apply them wet if you need to. Um, these shadows up here aren't don't have the greatest formula as I mentioned and uh, one eyeshadow that has the most unique color and that everybody should have gotten and unfortunately they discontinues was this purple here Cattleya. It is fabulous. It's just so beautiful, so unique, so just beautiful. Really really beautiful. I don't have any more space on my hand but look at that up there. Beautiful. So um, I would definitely recommend you get these colorful ones and take a look at my review of that. I'll link it up in the cards and uh, definitely, definitely worth it, these single eyeshadows. They have also released some um, eyeshadow brushes and these were released with their holiday collection in 2018 and now they have a new set out with their summer collection 2019, the, the nude number two. Um, I like their brushes. As I said, for the face brushes, the quality is really great. They are all synthetic, cruel, so they're cruelty free, of course. They're not made from, from animal hair. And uh, however, they all come in this teeny tiny size. Let me get you a regular sized Zoeva brush. They're teeny tiny, they're just tiny. So it is a little bit of getting used to, to the size of these brushes, but I, really like them. One of the standouts is this one here. This is the Cut Crease Maker and indeed it is a synthetic, very very thin and tapered um, brush. Absolutely fantastic to apply glitter, to apply concealer, to do your cut crease, anything like that. Really really good. Another standout is this little lash line smudger that I use in my inner corner daily. The two blenders have a magic power to them. You use them and the eyeshadows have the most beautiful blend ever. Um, I prefer to use them to blend after I have applied the color. So perfect if you want to dab the color and then blend with one of these because they're very, very fluffy. You get 
to you lose a little bit of the color when uh, when you blend it out but the blend of these is unbeatable i don't think i have any brush that works the, as well as these two and these are the precision precision shader and the soft crease beautiful you see me use it in um in the video in this look today and overall I think all of these brushes are are great I don't uh, use very much the angled one I think it's a little bit too thick for uh, my brows and uh, I don't do wing liner so I don't really use this one the lip brush is uh, called lip and detail it's nice but I don't use lip brushes so I haven't been using these too much and uh, this precision buffer I haven't loved um, this one here but overall I think this I bought this set on a sale and it was definitely worth it the new set is even uh, cheaper I think these were 10 brushes for 40 uh, euros I think the new one is six brushes for 20 something 30 I would definitely pick them up they're really great the only thing you need to get used to is the size I mentioned my brows and if you have been on this channel for any length of time you know that for the last two years I've been trying to finish the Nabla Brow Pot and uh, this brings me to their brow products um, they have pots and pencils I have never tried the pencils but I know half of the world swears by them they're very very thin and fine and with a really great formula I hear and uh, comparable to the brow is but at half of the price so if you're interested and you're in the market go take a look the reason why I never bought one is that they only have five shades and I didn't know which one to buy because I like a dark chocolate warm brown for my brows and I don't think they have such a such a color but then again almost nobody does on the other hand this is their brow pot in the shade Mars and they have brow pots in four shades I think maybe five and this is their warm toned uh, maybe you can see the color here better their warm toned brow pot it works for my brows and um, you can see me use it in every single Get ready with me tutorial i have a brow um post and and actually video from two or three years ago using this one i like it it's lasting me forever though if you're not one for patience and finishing this will last you forever going back to eyes let's say or liners um nabla has a few different types of liners pencil liners they have black and nude pencil liners they have different shades of nude i think and the black is called bombay black and it's a the, their velvet line you can see i use quite a bit of it um, i like this it's very very black you can blend it out i am wearing it today a little bit on my outer corner and um, it's a good matte black um, doesn't last me all day in the waterline though but it's a good matte black I tight line with it on my upper lash line I use it to smoke out wings or things like that I do like it and then the other ones they have is their magic pencil and these are the nude ones this is in the shade nude and um, I had used it today in my um, lash line I like it it works well it's a nude pencil let me check it's been now three hours or so since i've put my makeup on and it's still there so from that point of view we're good and uh, then they have a liquid liner and i think it is a brush tip liner um if i'm not mistaken i've never purchased it because i don't do wing liner so i don't know anything about that one however what i have purchased is also from the goldest collection in christmas 2016 that's how old this is this was their limited edition klimt liner and these are uh, their dazzle liners there are a few by now in their collection and i think that they're discontinuing this one at least it is the most beautiful gold liner you will ever find it's very metallic and you have to shake it a little bit beforehand but then it honestly does the most beautiful it's 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 fabulous it's fantastic I did a whole series when this collection came out I did a whole series of looks on my blog because it's just so beautiful and decadent and yeah if you can find it definitely grab one these are one of the most beautiful things they ever made 
Granted, I don't use it except for when I feel like doing something artistic, but it's fantastic. It's beautiful. And the last item on the eye section is a uh, mascara, Major Pleasure. They used to have a different mascara beforehand, but I never bought it because I have so many mascaras still to run through and yeah, I just never had the chance to buy the new mascara and I'm not gonna spend, pay, pay for shipping for a mascara. So I never picked that one up. Check, there are re other reviews online. I'm sorry, I cannot help. But that concludes the eye section. Let's move on to lips. For lips, Nabla started out with their Diva Crime lipsticks. These are small bullets. Uh, let me see if I can find a, um, a, a more regular size. These are the ColourPop in comparison and maybe a MAC in comparison. There we go. Yeah, the ColourPop is big, but this is a MAC lipstick in comparison. So they're teeny tiny. They still have a good amount of product, I believe. Yeah, 4.2 grams, which is actually more than what a, a MAC lipstick has. And um, I have two of them, uh, but they're both in the metallic formula. So I have the shade Moulin Rouge from the Gold Dust and the shade Goa from the summer collection where all those blues were. Um, I do like this metallic formula. It works well, it stays on well, it doesn't dry out my lips. However, I tried from a friend of mine, two from a separate collection and they were like putting, I don't know, slime on my lips. They moved a lot, they were extremely soft. I know they had problems with shipping them and them uh, arriving um, quite molten. So it wasn't, it's not a formula I ever wanted to experiment with because the one time I tried it, it really didn't work for me. Uh, however, the two metallic ones I have, I like. So it may depend on the color that you'll have to see um, yourself if it's possible. Um, otherwise, what they have released recently, which I think are instead fantastic, are their new lipsticks. These are the Feather uh, collection and these are beautiful. I have one less. I have three of these. I did a full review swatches comparisons on my blog and, uh, and on my Instagram, so I refer you to that, but I have one per finish and I can definitely recommend them all. The one finish that I wouldn't buy anything else from is the Super Matte, I think it's called. I have the shade Platonic Love from that uh, collection and I have to say this color is so unique that I would rebuy it. Even though the formula is extremely, extremely dry and difficult to apply. It doesn't dry out my lips, but it's difficult to apply, it drags. You will have seen it in a Get Ready With Me of mine, where I wore it. And uh, what I have on my lips today, or I had before I went for lunch, is the shade Elusive, which is one of their soft mattes. And uh, they're a bit like the Powder Kiss from MAC, and I'm actually gonna reapply it. Um, but you can see, I've had this makeup on for three hours, have been talking for three hours, and I ate lunch. So they definitely last a long time, and they are very soft and easy to reapply. There we go, a little bit more color. I really like these lipsticks. I can definitely recommend the Bounce Matte and the um, Soft Matte, I think is the, is the, the finish. And um, I would just maybe refrain from the Super Mattes because I found it very, very difficult to apply and maybe a little bit grainy at some point. Uh, however, Platonic Love is such a beautiful color that you should get that too. Maybe I'll swatch it for you just for that because it's beautiful. <laughs> Here she, he, she is. It's like a rosy red, I don't know. It's beautiful. I don't have anything like it. I tried to find dupes, I don't have anything like it. The closest thing that I might have found is actually another Nabla lipsticks, but this time it's their liquid lipstick. This is from their holiday collection and it's a shade Placebo and it came in a lip kit with its own lip pencil. So I'll swatch them next to it because I think they're quite close. Yeah, they're actually the same color. Ah. So, um, Nabla's Dreamy Liquid Lipsticks um, had a bit of controversy when come out, uh, as usual. Every launch from Nabla has controversy. 
and I didn't pick them up for the longest time because one, the colors were nothing special and two, I was hearing opposite sides, like some people love them, some people found them extremely drying. But when I found the placebo lip kit on sale in a, a, a Dutch web shop, I just bought it and I'm so happy because the color is fantastic. It's the same, pretty much the same shade as platonic love. And if you find it, I would definitely recommend the lip kit. The formula of the liquid lipsticks, I actually find quite comfortable. They last very long without drying out my lips. Um, they fade quite gracefully. I don't know. I have placebo and I like the formula of it. I can definitely recommend you pick this one up. And um, uh, I have also one more that was gifted to me, which I have yet to try, which is the shade Baudelaire, which was in a single. I mean, can we talk about this packaging? Every packaging of Nabla is fa fantastic. And this is, maybe I'll swatch it, a darker red shade. There we go. Beautiful, a little bit warm darker and I would um, yeah I don't know how that performs but overall I, I found that the formula of the liquid lip was just quite nice I know a lot of people love it um, and I would try it if I were you it's nothing like the terrible color pop ultra mattes let's say it's much much better much much more elastic it works with your lips and uh, it didn't make me feel dried out at all the lip pencils are really, really nice, very creamy. Uh, they're also called velvet line, so the same name as the eye pencil, the black one, but for the lips. And um, yeah, I, it's just very nice lip liner. It, uh, um, it sets quite nicely, it's it lasts a long time. I haven't used it alone yet, um, but I always use it in combination with the liquid lipstick to give just the edges of my lips a better contour. Um, I think they sell the, li the lip liners uh, by themselves as well. Not all of them, but many of them they do. Then they came out with glosses and they have different formulas. They have a more um, Shine Theory lip gloss like, is what the name is of this one, but I think it is a more creamy um, formula and then they have the glitter formula. The creamy formula, I have the shade Syrup, which is the darkest of the ones they have. And this is quite a thick, goopy gloss. They are very high coverage, very pigmented. And, um, oh, they smell like candy. It's very nice. Um, they're a little bit sticky. They're not my favorite formula of lips glosses. Uh, they also, as I said, have the glitter ones and the glitters. There's one from this collection and two new ones from the Denude 2 in uh, this summer collection. And, uh, Overall, I think you can skip at least these glosses. I didn't love the, um, the formula in these. And you guys, that was that. I finished, I went through all of my Nabla products and uh, overall, as a conclusion, I would say um, you can trust that when you buy from Nabla, you buy good quality, well packaged, well thought for products. It's nothing's rushed, nothing's thrown up. The price range is um, in the middle. It's not drugstore or cheap like Colourpop, but it's not high end. And uh, the quality is definitely representative of the price. You are paying for what you're getting. You often get more product than on average in these. As I said, the lipsticks have a lot of product. The powders are infinite. Um, I didn't mention, but the eyeshadows are much bigger. These are not 26 millimeter pans. Let me see if I can find one on hand. Um, these are 26 millimeter pans. And these are Nabla's pans. There you go, you can see that they're quite bigger. I can recommend the brushes. I like them. Um, they're all synthetic and cruelty free. The brand in itself has a very nice ethos. It is made in Italy. It is an independent brand. Um, the face of their brand is uh, Mr. Daniel Makeup, which you might have seen in all the presentation videos. And uh, I think overall, this is a very nice brand to support. The quality is good. I will keep buying from them. I have kept buying from them through thick and thin, through um, some customer service issues that they've had in the past. 
and um, yeah overall I have always been vocal with my issues if I had any and I have always been vocal about how much I love them I think one of their single eyeshadows even have made it through my um, like uh, eyeshadows that I could never live without and that's cinnamon the one that I use today on my eyes I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope I gave you all the information that I uh, could or that you are looking for in this video if you have any other question leave it in the comments down below I will be responding as usual to everyone and I'm always available on my Instagram DMs to chit chat and discuss things and I hope you guys enjoyed and that I fulfilled all of your dreams with this uh, uh, Nabla brand overview overall love the brand I can't wait for them to come out with more single eyeshadows I'm done with palettes I just want more single eyeshadow I would buy the whole collection like I did for the mats anyways thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>